Hello friends, Aaron from The Lost 40 here. So as you can tell, we are up at The Lost 40. Got the tractor going right there. I uh, got a little bit of cleanup to do before we get any real snow. Uh, towards the end of December now, actually it's a couple days before Christmas, so. Uh, and unfortunately we don't have snow, so it's looking like it's gonna be a green slash brown Christmas around here unless Michigan uh, does its thing and dumps a lot of snow on us so uh, as you can tell a bunch of odds and end pieces stuff that's no good for burning at least in the camp stove uh, I got a whole just a little ways up the road uh, that I'm dumping it in let it go back to the earth so uh, I'll get this one around and we'll get this cleaned up
making sure that I'm doing everything right. Here's that little hole that I told you about earlier. I'm dumping all this essentially junk wood and odds and ends. These squirrels have been in here just packing up all of stuff. Once that's filled in and 
leveled off, that'll be a nice little piece of dirt right there. All the nutrients and everything going back into the earth. Here's the next little project. Start splitting that pop and getting it put back up on pallets. So, so that way I can get to those trees back there that are already on the ground. Get those cut up and pulled out. And I gotta finish cutting these popple down. Gotta cut that dead pine next to the bunkhouse. And leave that maple. Leave that cherry for now and see where we go from there. So I'll get you set up and we'll get going at this. All right, so most of the time you guys see me with a ax that's on a wood handle. Um, to be honest, I forgot it in the shop. So, but I do carry this with me. It's a Fiskars, uh, I believe it's an X27, four and a half pound head. You can get at any local, like Ace Hardware, uh, Tractor Supply, stuff like that. Um, it's a nice axe for, for what it is. Um, the only thing is, if you break it, break the handle, it's done. You know, you can't replace the handle like you can on any the wood handled axes um, but it does get the job done and it's not incredibly heavy All these pieces I'm just basically splitting in half if I think they need to be split in half. It is just going out back to bonfire wood, so doesn't need to be real big, you know, real small pieces, so.
All right, so I'm gonna speed you up here. used to trim back so this gets a little bit of sun so I'll get you set up here and we'll uh, get you stack in this little bit of wood so I apologize for the moving and shaking of the camera that's most likely going to happen but I will do my best to keep it from happening So eventually, the goal is to get all the popple cleared out from around camp, um, thin out some of these pines, try and smooth stuff out the best that I can, um, kind of make almost a yard right around camp, uh, now something that the family can come up and enjoy anytime. You know, try to push the bug infest that is, you know, associated with being thick, heavy woods, you know, swampy woods even. Uh, push that back as far as I can. So when you're up here, you're not just trying, you know, you're not trying to carry you away. So, you know, I still don't know if I'm going to bring a logger in to uh, you know, harvest any trees out of here. I haven't really decided. I'm kind of, I am hes he hesitant because unfortunately I can't be up here all the time when they're up here working. 
you know, make sure that they're not taking the trees that I don't want them to take. So, no plus. I may try and grow, start and really grow a firewood business. So, I could do a lot of the harvesting up here. And because this is where I would store the wood anyways, because I don't necessarily have a place to store wood to let it dry and whatnot. So, yeah, so we'll see what happens in the next year or two. So, all right, so that's unloaded. That's starting to go in. I kind of like having the uh, pallets gets it up off the ground you know let's air circulate through everything as you can see where the wet wood the wood on top it's kind of growing some fungi but yet the wood on the bottom is still nice and dry so on the very bottom anyways so hopefully that'll all as I clean some of this out and some sunlight gets in here um that'll really help and then have all this stuff back here it's a lot of pine a lot a lot of pine what really needs to happen is i just need to come up here for a weekend and have a non-stop fire going outside so that would probably get rid of a lot of this stuff so but all right, moving on. So we're gonna see if we can push these stumps up or pull these stumps up. I have a suspicion that we won't be able to, but we're gonna find out. gutter right there so all the runoff doesn't just run right off onto the back deck. All sorts of little projects. But just got to focus on one at a time. Which is really hard to do when you come up here and you see 90,000 projects. And you just want to work on them all at the same time. set up and we'll get going back at this all right guys so got the tractor loaded up uh got a phone call uh i gotta go take care of some stuff so that is all the work i get to do up here at the 40 today so uh if you like what you are seeing give it a thumbs up um don't forget to sub subscribe to the page if you or to the channel if you already haven't and I will see you guys on the next one. Later.